Jamie O'Donnell here at Search Engine Strategies San Francisco Connected Marketing Week 2011. We're with Dwayne Forrester from Bing. Hi, Dwayne. Hey, Jamie. How always, are you? Always good to see you on the road. Yes. Happy to be here. Great. And uh, we're here at the first day. Uh, what's already hit you? Uh, first part of the day is an aha. Uh, huge interactivity at the show this year. All kinds of questions from people, great questions, really well-informed questions, uh -huh. right? Always love coming out here to the West Coast, gets a great crowd of people, um, and particularly for my purposes, I get a lot of great feedback on ideas that we're looking at investing in, mm -hmm. where we should be investing, uh -huh. and the current tools that we have that are available for folks. Mm -hmm. It's just fantastic out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. love the feedback, love the vibe, right. and it's always nice to see old friends too. Right, and you're always sort of watching and scanning uh, what do I see here that was not on my radar? Uh, a couple of things you saw first half of the day, it's like, oh, this yeah. fits very well with where the, uh, how people are communicating online right now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. One of the things that I'm noting is um, there's a lot of conversation around social and search and the overlap, right, right. but when, um, when you speak in sessions and you ask people to raise hands where they're investing in this kind of thing, right. um, the majority of people are investing in SEO and they haven't really started thinking about the social side yet. Uh, and so it's a bit of a moment for me because I'm so entrenched in the overlap between the two right. that it's like, hey, you know, we have to remember to kind of bring everyone along and have that conversation right. and say, you know, here's how you need to look at these things and here's why it's important. Right. And so it really helps to play the educational the response. role. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it kind of mm -hmm. keeps it grounded too, mm -hmm. because at the engine, you can move very quickly on new things. Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. you have to remember that like, wow, you know, we need everyone to produce good quality. Mm -hmm. We have to help them with that. Mm -hmm. And so you can't run so fast out front mm -hmm. that you leave folks behind. Mm -hmm. So it's a great, great way to remember that. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to stay humble and stay connected. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of interest and a lot of talk, and the ears are up on the intersection of SEO and social and the social signals and their value, what have you. But the interest is up, but it's still at the very beginning of the curve, in other words. Yeah, there's some, there's still some, some kind of head scratching going on around how you integrate the two, where mm -hmm. you put your time, that kind of idea. Right. You know, so part of the job is to help you know, kind of demystify that and help folks understand how right. to seek efficiencies, what they should look for, right. and why things are important and when they're important. Right. right. Because it's not always a full core press between every signal. Right. And you know, having businesses out there trying to hit everything all right. the time, right. it's a little inefficient for them. Right, yeah. right, right. Stepping back and looking and examining. Yeah, and it's, I've been kind of pitching this idea that, that folks need to um, less time thinking about SEO and more time thinking about content optimization. Right. Because the results that you see showing up now right. could be an app, it could be uh, a PDF, it could be right. an image, a video, it right. could be text. Right. So really zone in on what it takes to be an authority, right. build your business that way, right. and we respond to that. And have your templates built out to content optimize content yes, across absolutely. all the channels. Absolutely. Right? So something like SEO, the very technical aspects of it, becomes something that's assumed. Everyone's going to do it. They're going right. to get it right. The best practices are out there. Right. You don't need to reinvent that wheel and you don't need to split the hair nine ways. Right. You do need to sweat some of what people are saying about you online, how they're saying it, where they're saying it, the frequency with what they're saying. Right. Those are the things you need to start looking at and kind of massaging. It's like right. any other business, right? right? If your foot traffic loves you, you're going to get more foot traffic. Right. People walking through your door get a bad vibe, well, they're not going to show up again. Right. Well, thanks, Wayne. Absolutely, We'll catch Jamie. up with the other end of the show and see what we both discovered. Definitely. Thanks okay. for the time. Always fun. Enjoy our beautiful August weather. Oh, I'm loving it here. All right. <laughs>